there's a crack in the foundation of reality. Not metaphorical, measurable. The standard model of particle physics, our most successful scientific theory ever, predicts particle behavior to 12 decimal places. It's been right about everything for 50 years. Except one thing. This particle, the muon. It wobbles wrong, just slightly, impossibly. And that impossibility might rewrite physics. April 7th, 2021. Fermilab, Illinois. 200 physicists announce results from the muon G2 experiment. Seven years of data, eight billion muons measured. The result? The muon's magnetic moment differs from predictions by 0.00000000251. That number sounds small. It's not. In particle physics, this is like predicting someone weighs 70 kilograms, and they weigh 70 kilograms and one atom. We don't make mistakes like this. Our math doesn't fail at 12 decimal places. Unless something we've never seen is interfering. The 2021 announcement reported 4.2 sigma significance. In statistics, that means one in 40,000 chance this is random noise. Not impossible, but suspicious. Five sigma is the gold standard the discovery threshold. That's one in 3.5 million. When CERN discovered the Higgs boson in 2012, they waited for five sigma. Fermilab is still running. More data, more muons, more precision. And the anomaly isn't going away. But before we talk about what might be causing this, we need to understand what a muon actually is. Here's the weird part about muons. They're basically electrons. Same charge, same behavior. Just 207 times heavier. And unstable. A muon lives 2.2 microseconds before decaying into an electron and neutrinos. When physicist I. I. Rabi first learned about muons in 1936, he asked, Who ordered that? Nobody knows why muons exist. They're not needed for atoms, chemistry, biology, anything in our everyday world. But they might be the key to discovering what lies beyond our world. Muons rain down on you constantly, right now, about one per second passing through your body. They're created when cosmic rays, high-energy particles from space, slam into Earth's atmosphere. The collision shatters atomic nuclei, and in the debris, muons. Here's something beautiful. Muons shouldn't reach the ground. They're created 15 kilometers up. They live 2.2 microseconds. Even moving at 99.9% .9 light speed, they should decay mid-atmosphere. But they don't because time dilation is real. From the muon's perspective, it barely ages. From our perspective, it lives longer. Muons are proof Einstein was right. And now they might prove he didn't know everything. Every particle with charge and spin acts like a tiny magnet. The strength of that magnet? That's the magnetic moment. For an electron, classical physics predicts a g-factor of exactly 2. But quantum mechanics adds corrections. Virtual particles pop in and out of existence around the electron, slightly changing its magnetic properties. Every possible interaction adds a tiny contribution. Photons, W and Z bosons, even top quarks through quantum loops. Add them all up, and you get the most precisely calculated number in physics. Measured value? 
perfect agreement. The muon should be the same, just heavier. But it's not. The experiment is elegant. Fire muons into a 14-meter storage ring. Apply a powerful magnetic field. Watch them process, wobble, as they circulate. The wobble rate depends on G-2. The G-2. That tiny quantum correction we talked about. Theory predicts one wobble rate. Observation shows another. The muon wobbles faster than it should, as if something invisible is tugging on it. The standard model is humanity's greatest intellectual achievement. It describes 17 fundamental particles, three forces, how matter gets mass, why atoms don't collapse. It predicted the W and Z bosons, found in 1983. It predicted the top quark, found in 1995. It predicted the Higgs boson, found in 2012. Every prediction, correct. Some predictions match observations to one part in 10 billion. So when it fails, even slightly, we pay attention. The standard model has always had known problems. It doesn't include dark matter, but 85% of the universe's matter is dark matter. It doesn't include gravity, but gravity shapes the cosmos. It doesn't explain why matter won against antimatter, but we exist. It predicted neutrinos were massless. They're not. Physicists knew the standard model was incomplete. We've known for decades. But the muon anomaly is different. It's not a missing piece. It's a wrong piece. Calculating the muon's magnetic moment requires every interaction in the standard model. First order, photon loops. <laughs> Easy. Second order, W bosons, Z bosons, more photons. Harder. Third order, top quarks, Higgs bosons, hadronic contributions. Extremely hard. The most precise calculations require supercomputers running for years, lattice quantum chromodynamics, millions of CPU hours. And after all that, theory, 2.002331836200. Experiment, 2.002331841222. The difference? 0 0.00000000502. Either our calculations are wrong, which would be shocking, or something new is contributing, something we've never seen. If the anomaly is real, something is interacting with muons that we haven't accounted for. New particles, new forces, new physics. Theorists have proposed dozens of explanations. They fall into three categories. Let's meet the candidates. Candidate one, dark photons. Imagine a particle like the photon, the carrier of electromagnetism, but much lighter and much weaker. It would mediate a new force, a dark force, if dark photons exist and couple to muons, they'd create virtual loops that affect the magnetic moment. Bonus, dark photons might also explain how dark matter interacts, killing two mysteries with one particle. <sighs> Problem, we've looked for dark photons, haven't found them yet. Candidate two, leptoquarks. The standard model separates particles into quarks and leptons. Different families, different behaviors. Leptoquarks would bridge them, a particle that transforms quarks into leptons and vice versa. If leptoquarks exist, they'd contribute to the muons G2 through quantum loops involving quarks. <laughs> and here's the kicker. Other experiments show anomalies in B meson decays. Leptoquarks could explain both. Problem. 
Leptoquarks should be heavy. The LHC should have found them. Hasn't. Candidate 3. Extra dimensions. What if space has more than three dimensions? Four, five, eleven. But the extra ones are tiny, curled up at subatomic scales. Particles might propagate through these extra dimensions. For muons, heavier than electrons, the effect would be more noticeable. Each standard model particle would have Kaluza-Klein partners, heavier copies living in higher dimensions. These partners could contribute to G2 through quantum loops. Problem. Why would only the muon show this effect? And where are the other signatures? Hundreds of papers, dozens of theories. Everyone explains the muon anomaly, but we need more than explanations. We need predictions. A good theory predicts other observable effects. New particles at the LHC, rare decays at Bell 2, signals in dark matter detectors. The race is on. Find the second signature before someone else does. Fermilab is still collecting data. Run four and run five. More muons, more precision. The collaboration expects to reach five sigma discovery threshold by 2025. Meanwhile, a complementary experiment at Jay Park in Japan approaches the problem differently. Different systematics, independent confirmation, and theorists are refining calculations. Better lattice QCD, more accurate hadronic contributions, three possible outcomes. One, the anomaly disappears. Better theory matches experiment. False alarm. Two, the anomaly shrinks but remains. Intriguing, but not convincing. Physics purgatory. Three, the anomaly strengthens. Five sigma, confirmed. If it's three, everything changes. A confirmed muon anomaly doesn't just mean new particles, it means new physics. It could reveal how dark matter works, what it's made of, how it interacts. It could expose a fifth fundamental force, a force we've never detected because it only affects certain particles. It could vindicate grand unification theories, frameworks that merge all forces at high energies, or validate string theory, or supersymmetry, or something nobody has thought of yet. The last time a small anomaly rewrote physics? The ultraviolet catastrophe. Classical physics predicted infinite energy from hot objects. Observations showed otherwise. Max Planck resolved it by inventing quantum mechanics. We're here again. The anomaly is real. The question is, what's the solution? Particle physics has been in a strange place since 2012. We found the Higgs, completed the standard model. Then, nothing. No new particles, no surprises. The LHC has run for over a decade smashing protons at record energies, finding exactly what we predicted, nothing more. Some physicists worried we'd reached the end, that nature had no more layers to reveal within our reach. The muon says otherwise. There is something beyond the standard model, something within reach, something we can measure. A generation of physicists thought they might never discover anything new. That the great era of particle physics was behind us. They were wrong. The foundation is cracking. And through the cracks, we might finally see what lies beneath. The muon crisis isn't a crisis. It's an opportunity 
a chance to glimpse the next layer of reality, to discover what the universe has been hiding. The standard model has served us well for 50 years, but it's time to see what comes next. This is Cosmic Canvas, where we trace the outlines of reality, then ask what lies beyond. Until next time, stay curious, stay grounded, and trust the questions that won't go away.